And just like that, we got running water in the compost and outhouse. Good morning, modern steaders. I think I have an idea for our water supply for the sink and the composting outhouse. Let's check it. Fingers crossed, it'll fit and it'll work. That'll be perfect. Let's make a shelf. We'll put a shelf right here. We can set our bucket on it and then we can make it. I like it. We're also going to need some cleats to rest this shelf on. We're going to cut two of them at four and a half inches. Good morning, pigs. You enjoying those apples? Hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link to it right here. It was just a fun time we had this weekend. We had some company over there. It was my mom and her husband. We cleaned up the garden. We harvested some potatoes. We made some apple cider. We shook some apple trees and had apples falling all over the place. We just had a lot of fun. If you guys want to have a fun time, go check out the video. I'll leave it right here. Let's get back to the sink project. So now we need to kind of figure out what would be a good height thinking like here-ish should be a good height. That's very scientific. Yeah, that's comfortable. I like that. We're going to go with that. So I'm going to mark it. And we're going to put the bottom of the board right here. So we'll run our level across. So we make sure it's level this way. So we'll mark it here and there. And I'll put some cleats in. And I want these, oops, I cut them shorter because this board's in the way now. That's all right. I plan on having them cut to go underneath, but that's fine. So I'll cut an inch off of them. And we're going to angle them slightly forward so it'll keep the water pitched to the front. Now we need to pre-drill our cleats. cleats are pre-drilled. Let's put them in place, line them up with our front mark. Let's put our shelf in place. And kind of figure out a slight angle for it. We don't need a big angle, we just want a slight angle so that the water is pitching down the bucket. Do that right there and it'll pitch it and that way we're still nice and level. I like that. Yep. And then we'll have the bucket like so. Cool. Perfect height. All right. Let's take everything out and put two more screws in, one on each side. Pre-drill our shelf. We don't want to crack that. After all this work, Now that we have that done, let's go turn our bucket into our running water. For our bucket, we are using a one gallon food grade bucket that we got from our local co-op that had peanut butter in it. If you have a local co-op near you or a local store that sells bulk foods, they get these kind of buckets all the time and they'll give them to you for free. Just go in and ask for them. I love these things. We've got a spigot. This spigot is left over from our kombucha um, vessel that we use. I'll put a link to that video right here that we made one of them, and then I'll put a link to a spigot down below in the description. And then you're going to need a 5 8 spade drill bit. I'm going to drill as close to the bottom as I can. That 
that's it. Bada boom, bada bang. Our spigot has two rubber washers. One of them goes on the inside and one is for the outside. So we'll leave one right on the spigot. Just screw our spigot in place. Like so. On the inside, put our rubber washer. Like that. Now we're gonna tighten it up. There we go. We got our spigot. It's on completely. You push it down, you get a little bit. A little bit. If you want it running constantly. Let's go put in the compost and outhouse and try it. Perfect. Let's put it in place and see what happens. Ooh, I like that. Let's turn it on and try it out. Oh yeah. If we needed to for some reason. We got the drain, wash our hands, let's get some soap out here. In the winter time this will freeze and I understand that we won't leave it here. This will be for the summer, spring, and fall seasons. During the winter we'll use hand sanitizer because that won't freeze. You modern setters will leave in some awesome comments about that down below in the last couple of videos. That's great. I love the hand sanitizer idea for the winter time because it won't freeze. Perfect. <laughs> that works pretty slick. I'm happy with that. If it, we find out it's not a big enough vessel, we can always put that in a five gallon pail or whatever. I think a one gallon pail is good for now. It's a good size. It doesn't stick out too far. If we need to, we could go to like a two gallon or a five gallon pail. We'll find out over time how big of a container we need. But for now, this one's going to work perfect. I have a lot of leftover food that I've collected from my friends. Let's go feed them to the pigs. I love feeding food to the pigs. It's so much fun. Let's go. If you watched the video on us making cider, we had the apples in this sink. This is the stainless steel mop sink we've had. That's gonna go in the outdoor kitchen. But we had this filled up with apples. It was pretty much level to the top. And I was very surprised with how much cider we actually got from those apples. We got a whole five gallon pail full of apple cider. Apple juice, whatever you wanna call it, whatever the correct terminology is, I call it apple cider. Even though it's not hard, or it hasn't had any flavoring added to it, I still call it apple cider. I'm sorry if you don't like it, but that's how I grew up in New England. That's what we call it. When it's pressed from the apples, it's called apple cider. But if you didn't see that video, I look if you didn't see that video, I'll put it in the description down below. But that was fun and I was just totally surprised with how much cider we got out of all those apples. I think the pigs know what we have for them. You know you got some good friends and they'll freeze their leftovers for you to give to your pigs. Make for some happy pigs. This is another reason why to have pigs and chickens. There's no need to throw this stuff away. It makes awesome food or compost. If you're watching Nick, Angie, and Sophia, thanks for all the food. 
The pigs are in hog heaven. Last bag, girls. Oop. When we get in the house, we'll have to give Pluto a treat. She's a little jealous. Are you jealous of all them pigs getting all that good leftover food, huh? Are you jealous? You want a treat when we get inside? We'll have to give you a cookie. Told you I'd give you a cookie. Let's go get one. Come on, let's go. This way. Hey, your treats are in here. Let me show you what we got brewing right here. We got some more kombucha going. Woohoo! You want a cookie? Sit. Good girl. Give you one more. Good girl. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I sure did. Now I can wash my hands when I'm in the compost outhouse using it. We've been using the composting outhouse and it works great. When I was in there, this stuff in the composting pot, and it doesn't smell. You can't smell it, which is awesome. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it. It's really helping the channel grow, and I want to thank you for that. This is awesome. We've got a couple of recipes up on our website. I'm going to leave a link to our website here and in the description down below. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.